Archangel Michael, Avatars, Ascended Masters, Great Beings of Light by Ronna Herman September 1, 2016 Website, ronnastar.com Produced by Higher Self Beloved Masters, even though it may not seem so from your vantage point, wondrous things are transpiring throughout this sub-universe. By now many of you are aware that your galaxy, and particularly your small planet, are the focal point of these momentous happenings. Before your planet was created, it was decreed that it would become the zero point or the central focus for a new creative endeavor, whereby the angelic realm, the co-creator gods, the great beings of light, and the star seed from throughout the omniverse would send forth fragments of their essence to earth, and thereby, they would bring their light, their wisdom and their desire to assist in fulfilling the creator's grand plan. To some degree, all of humanity and the earth's soul consciousness are reaching inward and upward to connect with our father mother God, while the supreme creator is opening the pathway from the core of its being throughout the multi-universes the great central suns, the multi-dimensions, and the many realms of creation in order to incorporate and harvest the beauty and magnificence of what has been wrought by all of us in the name of our omnipotent creator. Those of you who are firmly on the path of expanded spiritual awareness realize that you are living in unique and unprecedented times. Great beings of light who had never before left their home within the great central sun of their universe agreed to do so and to fragment themselves into lesser sparks of God light, in order to bring their radiance, their love and their wisdom to planet earth. The beloved one called Jesus Yeshua Jeshua, the great Kimaras, the Buddhas, Lord Melchizedek, Rama and Krishna, plus the radiant and mighty angelic kingdom, to name only a few came from far distant universes created long before this young universe came into being. We of the Archangelic realm originated in the dim, ancient past of the Omniverse, as did many of the Ascended Masters and Avatars you are familiar with, and we assure you that many of you who are on the advanced path of ascension were birthed into your individualized consciousness in other universes as well. The divine plan was perfected and the groundwork was laid long ago for what is taking place on earth at this time. Those great beings journeyed down into the lower dimensions, in order to take up residency within the shining cities of light stationed throughout the sixth dimension, so that they could assist humanity to successfully traverse the multiple cycles of mass awakening and ascension back into the realms of enlightenment. In addition, the divine essence of the earth was encoded with the white fire memory seed atoms, keys and codes, which would activate its own awakening, and would also accelerate the awakening process within humanity as well. We do not like to focus attention on ourselves, for our greatest joy and mission are to serve the Creator and those under our guardianship, and no credit is needed or desired. However, it is necessary so that you can fully understand our mission on earth and how closely we have always been connected with you. The beloved Jesus Jeshua came to earth over 2000 years ago, and along with Archangel Earl and Lady Grace, he anchored the virtues, aspects and qualities of the sixth ray of devotion, forgiveness, mercy, grace, spiritual nourishment and faith in God. The lovely Lady Mary the feminine archangel of the fifth ray, who, along with Archangel Raphael, radiates forth the qualities of surrender, selflessness, dedication and healing, was given the honor of bringing forth unto the world the Christed being called Jesus Jeshua Yeshua. However, Mary was chosen for an even greater task and opportunity to serve the Creator and humanity. She brought to earth and anchored the virtues of the Goddess in the greatest measure possible so the process of balancing the masculine and feminine qualities of the Creator on earth could once more take place. Many of you are familiar with what are called the Michael and Mary lines in England, there are lines that pass through the British Isles, Germany, France and many other lesser known areas in Europe and around the world. We wish to give you a greater understanding of the grand plan and what have become some of the myths and miracles of your history. Thousands of years ago in Earth time, Lady Mary, representing the receptive and negative, or feminine crystalline electromagnetic currents and I, 
Michael, radiating the positive or masculine crystalline electromagnetic currents, set about infusing the earthly lines with the currents necessary to rebuild the balanced and harmonious golden etheric grid system of the earth, rods of power, ascension columns of light, or vortices were installed at integral points around the earth, the sacred sites, natural formations which became places of worship, as well as great churches and temples, have all been constructed along these lee lines and power points. Down through your many lifetimes on earth, you have been drawn to these places over and over again to receive spiritual sustenance, but much more has transpired than you realize. Each of you, either by your physical presence or in your nightly sojourns in the etheric, have not only received harmonious energy and encodings from these spiritually magnetized locations, but you have also helped to activate them and spread these currents of light around the earth. You have become both a sender and receiver of God light from the earth below and from the heavens above. The earth's soul and the over-soul consciousness of humanity have once again become attuned, one with another. I have been called the guardian overseer of humanity, and it is time for you to understand that the beloved Lady Mary is the feminine aspect of the goddess assigned to oversee humanity's sojourn and descent throughout this universe as well. It has been our greatest honor and privilege to be with you, guiding, guarding and directing you every step along the way throughout the eons of time, as you journeyed forth on your assigned task of co-creating worlds and wondrous things without end, along with the essence of the Creator. The memory of us coming together and over lighting you with our individualized essence and love was buried deep within your soul and your memory so that even though you may have forgotten consciously, you could never forget within the memory of your soul self. King Arthur, the Lady of the Lake, Joan of Arc and many mythical historical characters each brought forth an extraordinary amount of Lady Mary's essence and my essence in order to infuse them within the earth's consciousness and within the hearts of humanity. This is why these myths never grow old, and why they have stayed near and dear to your hearts. They conjure up memories of the time we were together in the higher realms before your mission into the worlds of density began. You are remembering our close and divine connection, and as we are reunited in mind and heart, it is a most joyous and gratifying time for us all. In order to give you a greater understanding of what has taken place on earth and how perfect the Creator's plan was and is, we will go back in your history to approximately 5000 BC according to your timekeeping, to the time the Avatar armor came to earth the Christed being in human form called Rama, who brought forth to earth the attributes, virtues and qualities of the Creator for that era, was overlighted with my essence bearing the first ray of divine will. Many of you are of my lineage, and you bear the essence of angels within your DNA and soul. The difference is that Rama bore the greatest infusion of my essence ever brought forth to earth in order to lay the foundation for the future, this time we are presently experiencing. The love of the Creator has always been the major overlighting focus with every avatar, however, they bring forth different teachings, those which are best suited for the time and the current level of humanity's awareness. Following Rama was Krishna, then Gautama Siddhartha, the Buddha, and numerous other avatars. Archangel Mary, as the bearer of the goddess energy or the feminine aspect of the Creator, played an important part in the lives of these great avatars. In Rama's life, his wife, Sita, was overlighted with the essence of Mary. In Krishna's life, it was a spiritual friend and companion, devoid of physical desire. Of course, Mary's best known role was as the mother and mentor of Jeshua. She has stayed in the background all these thousands of years but her great love for and devotion for the Creator and humanity have always been a major force on earth and in the higher realms. Many other great beings of light have visited the earth over the ages, Lao Tzu, Confucius, Abraham, Moses and Muhammad to name only a few. The beloved Q An Yin was over lighted with the essence of Lady Mary and brought the qualities of compassion, justice and healing to earth. You are or should be familiar with these great ones for they all portrayed particular facets, aspects and virtues of the Creator, 
and have played important roles on earth as representatives of the creator. What is not widely understood is that the archangelic realm has also played an integral part in this divine drama of descent into the worlds of material form. Throughout the ages, each archangel has played a predominant part in anchoring and radiating specific aspects, attributes qualities and virtues of the Creator. They have been attuned to and in communication with the great avatars, and they have overlighted these wondrous beings with their own radiance and virtues. The avatars were the physical, human representation of the Creator for a particular period of time, and the archangelic beings were their spiritual overlighting connection with our Father Mother God. This unique time has never before been experienced on earth. And even though there are presently many powerful avatars and ascended masters on earth, there will not be just one great avatar sent to the earth to overlight, guide and inspire humanity. Each of you has the potential of becoming an ascended master for these glorious times ahead. We gave you a golden promise, and that promise states that no matter how much or how little crystal light or essence of your divine self you brought forth with you at birth you have the potential to draw forth all the magnificence of your God Ray and I am presence. That is what ascension is all about, returning to balance and harmony within your physical, mental, emotional and etheric bodies so that, once more, spirit can descend and take dominion. However, you must remember, all that you draw forth you must use for the greatest good of all, and then, beloved ones, even more will be given to you. Beloveds, my flaming sword of light was fashioned by thought and energy from my innermost being, and infused with the dynamic energies of the Creator's first ray of divine will. It is a sword of redemption, a sword of hope, a sword of freedom, a gift I offer you to sever the shackles of your own miscreations, and to release you from the illusional bonds of the third and fourth dimension. We ask you to accept and use the awesome power of the first ray of divine will and power and the adamantine particles of creator light to create a new in harmony with the divine will of the creator. We implore you to, once more, claim your divine right as a co-creator under the direction of our Father Mother God. The chalice we now offer you during these momentous times of great change is filled with the elixir of love and light, the twelve-fold flame from our Father Mother God. It contains the cosmic fire of new creation that will be used to mold the new golden galaxy and to expand this universe out into the void. Drink deeply my beloved and faithful ones, for you are the star seed of the future. We surround and enfold you in our auric field of love and protection. I am Archangel Michael.